what is going on everyone i am your girl v coop die peace in the v coop to be exact make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you share make sure you subscribe man you can do all of that right beneath this video including ringing that notification bell so you can know what we have coming up next all right we are about to hop straight into big boy's favorite verse of k bush running up that hill so a lot of people been telling me you know that big boy's favorite artist or one of um his favorite artists is k bush um yeah, you know, we do K-Bush here majority of the time, so we, I definitely want to check that out. I mean, I'm from Atlanta. I'm out here, um, so I'm a big boy fan as well, Outcast fan, all that. So let's, let's jump straight into this. Hey, every time I see big boy, though, he always got a smile on his face, unless it's in a movie or something. My top two artists of all time when I start really loving music is Kate Bush, mm. Bob Marley. I call it my one A, my one. Wow. What? So it really is his favorite artist. That's crazy of all time. B. And two would be N.W.A. So, yeah, that's where my musical tastes lie. Because my dad was listening to Run D.M.C. and uh, Houdini, and my grandmother was listening to Bob Marley and Patti LaBelle, and uh, Uncle Russ was listening to uh, The Doors and Kate Bush and Guns N' Roses and Sting, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it was just like... I loved all music, and he was just turning me on to something that was just brand new. I mean, I, I love the production first and foremost, I mean, because it kind of set a tone, and then the way she was uh, singing the songs, her voice was just angelic. I was like... Facts. We all know that here. Um, what? Hold on, we gotta go. Man, we ain't gonna go back. We ain't gonna go back. I ain't gonna bore y'all or nothing like that. So let, let's just keep listening. I hadn't heard nobody do it like that. It was just so weird, you know what I mean? The sounds and and what she was talking about, it was just kind of crazy, you know what I mean? And then he's like, you know, she produced all this stuff too. So I was like, oh man. Hold on now, y'all didn't tell me that now. I definitely, I thought y'all, I mean, I guess the other people played the instruments and she actually what, um, arranged it. Wow, I didn't know she was actually, I mean, I knew she was a producer, but I didn't know she actually like produced those songs as well. I just always thought of her like, as like Phantom of the Opera kind of somewhere living in this big castle with a piano that was 10 times the size of a, a, a regular piano, just kind of just playing the piano all day with sheer curtains blowing in the window. Like she's like almost like Rapunzel, but on the top of a hill somewhere just in a, on a castle, just desolate playing the piano and wailing. I, I thought it was cool. favorite part it's stupid for one it was good to pedal to you know um it made you go fast i just liked it you know when the drums come on it just it's, it was like one of those like a workout song you know what i'm saying so i mm. had to ride like phew, had to be like 20 to 30 blocks to school you know what i mean so i would just listen to it and just, just man this man used to listen to this while he was in school what i'm just now getting on it at 28 i mean 29 to 30 what right and it was it was just good you know what i mean it was, was kind of adventurous and then the hook comes in and just make it pedal faster and you know by the time i got to school i was uh probably sweating like i just got out of pe class It's crazy. I might gotta go back and listen to that. I feel like I already did a reaction to it. Yep, he liked the same type of stuff. I like the sound. Like what? It was it was pretty deep. You know what I mean? I guess it was some two people in a relationship. 
And the woman was saying if she could, she'd make a deal with God and swap places so the man could understand how a woman think and, then, and the, the woman can understand how the man think. Mm. Then they have a better relationship, which is fucking cool as shit. You know, is the dude want to swap places too? Do he really? Think about it. Oh, just to hear him talk about it just make her even more, you know, fi. You feel me? Like, just because he's from the same place I'm from. Come on, come on, darling. Let's exchange the experience. <laughs> Man, singing that thing, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think her songs tell stories, and we also tell stories. Sometimes there's a double meaning in what she says, and the layers of production, how the songs morph. They might start one way, and then they morph and break down into something. It's, it's, it's very mm -hmm. theatrical in a sense. To You can kind of envision it in your head, like, you know what I mean, where you can kind of envision your own world of what an outcast song is. Her songs did that for me. Like, it would just be so dramatic, like the different turns it would take. Like, it made the music exciting because it wasn't just uh, repetitive. You didn't know what was right. coming around the corner. And when that song ended, you didn't know if it was going into another song or if that was like a B or C section to that one particular song. It was just, you know, one cohesive body of work that took you on an adventure. Thanks. I, I hope I do. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, trying to get me to go to church in this motherfucker. <laughs> Say, that's my jam, boy. <laughs> I am your girl V Coop, die piece in the V Coop to be exact. There you have it, man. Check out the video that's popping up on the screen right now and definitely all of the other Kate Bush reactions. Tell me what you think in the comments and all of that good stuff below. And also check out my description so you can get to know more about me. I hope to see you soon. Thank you for joining us.